in December of this year, the provincial government issued archaeological investigative permits to a development company to start digging here right behind me as our ancestral graveyard. So graveyards uh, before colonial times, we didn't actually have headstones and coffins and such like that. We put our people right in the ground. So that's always been known to us. That's been handed down in our oral history. Uh, my great-grandfather, James Point, used to live in this area. He lived to be 100 years old. So he was a young man at the turn of the century between 1800 and 1900. So he definitely told me about these people and about our history in this area. Um, this uh, particular area that was kind of the front lines to greet visitors or invaders. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of the people here died of smallpox when the epidemic came here. So um, it's common knowledge to the country it's a, declared a National Historic Site in 1933 because there's artifacts here dating back thousands of years that were uncovered by archaeologists in the early 1900s and of course our burials once again. So we want to protect this site. We don't know how this developer got these permits uh, and now the latest development is that since they have found several bodies here now they've agreed that they will amend <laughs> not rescind the permit, but they will amend the permit such that they will allow us to rebury our people. And, uh, and then they've said they just won't dig in five meters around where they found those bodies. So that's not sufficient to us. Um, they want to still develop this site. So what we've done is we've offered them a land swap. We have another piece of land coming to us from the provincial government, which will either be uh, given to us in land or cash. So it's somewhere in the neighborhood of $5 million. So with that, we want to just move this developer off the property. The city of Vancouver came up with a comparable piece of property for them to go to, but we need the province to sign off on all of that. So that hasn't happened. And we really were not getting much attention from the province. We tried several protests. Of course, we had a large one marching down to this site 39 days ago. And uh, we also, uh, had a protest in front of the Premier's office, we had a protest in Robson Square, we had a protest in front of the graveyard at Mountain View Cemetery so that people would get the idea of what it feels like. We brought a huge mock rezoning permit with us and uh, there was a little bit of media there but not a lot. But we really wanted to drive the attention home that how would you feel if we started you know, suggesting developing condos on your graveyard? How does that feel to you? So, um, like I said, a little bit of media attention, but not enough. And the province, all they had done up until that point was send us a facilitator to come and work with us. The facilitator had no authority to act, and he just kept coming and gaining more information from, from us, from the city, from the developer, and no movement was happening. So we took the drastic action last Thursday of going up on the Arthur Lang Bridge with elders in their electric chairs, with mothers carrying babies in slings. It was horrific. It was the last thing we wanted to do, but we went up on the Arthur Lang Bridge and blockaded it for over two hours. So stopping the traveling public from getting to the international airport and stopping people from getting downtown to work. And uh, that got the government's attention. Primarily it got the media's attention, of course it got the commuters' attention, and so I'm very sure that there were many important people on that bridge trying to either get to their flights or downtown, and I'm sure the government's phone was ringing off the hook that day. So that's when they started working with us in earnest. Uh, like I said, they did this small gesture of saying you can no longer dig around these ancestors who they found, but they are now uh, having a high-level meeting with us on uh, Tuesday of next week. So we want them to go over our land swap offer and really just tie this up. So at least we got their attention, they're talking to us, actual government people with authority, and, uh, and that's where we're at today. So we want the public to uh, sign our petitions. We have an online petition, we have a petition here on site. If they can't physically come in to do either of those things, we want them to write to government. We want them to write to the Premier. To, accept, to tell the province to accept our land swap. And we also want them to let the Canadian government and the provincial government know that digging up burials of First Nations people is unacceptable. 
This never should have happened in the first place, and we really want that to be driven home. I'm not comfortable offering up another piece of our land to save you know, our ancestors. I really think the issue falls with the province or the country. So we want people to write to their, their MLAs, their government leaders, to tell them to stop doing this. Well, I think what I want to add is that First Nations people want the same human rights that all other Canadians have, because this doesn't happen to other Canadians.